So today what I'm going to try and do is replace the master cylinder and give the whole clutch assembly a bit of a refurb, oil up, uh, clean up where it needs it and just give it a bit of love because I recently changed the slave which meant um, it's all working fine again but I noticed that the clutch pedal now is feeling a bit hard and I think the um, master cylinder nuts have been adjusted for a slave that was slightly broken and was a lot less operational so um, I'm thinking that taking this out and replacing it with brand new bits and giving it all a bit of a refurb is going to make it all a little bit better really. I've got some loft bits and pieces to show you so um, let's go and have a look at those. So I went to the loft clutches master cylinder I've heard that it makes the clutch 30% lighter and you can just tell the product's going to be good because it's got the um, CNC top there and it's just generally all around a better looking cylinder than the even the I think the Elandro the one that it came with but especially the other aftermarket ones you can get and that's by Lof. Um, it comes with the two nylon nuts to hold it on because mine's for the 300 TDI and you need to put it much further down the end to allow for the travel. This is the power spring that they do as well which is also helps with the you know the pressure you have to put on the clutch as well. These are little plastic bits that go on the spring to hold it in place but they're not very important. In here blue bag brick parts and we have the gasket for the clutch assembly housing that goes onto the uh, footwell or the, the bulkhead and it doesn't have one at the moment and this is going to help to stop rust and water and clanging about and lots of different bad things so that should go between and um, seal it all up so I'm going to chuck these on give it all a bit of a refurb bit of an oil up and hopefully it all looks a lot better. The clutch used to be a lot lighter than it is now it's um, you know feeling all right but the biting point seems to be quite high and quite abrupt I know it's a heavy duty clutch from Bearmac but I had a little um, some advice from a professional and he also said that it's um, not feeling quite right it's just like there's a stiff point in the middle here and it really kicks your foot up onto the biting point and gives it a big jolt so I'm hoping that by giving it all a bit of a grease up new spring it'll um, help to make it a much smoother transition and will bite the clutch much more smoothly so hopefully it feels a lot better after it. The next thing I need to do is bleed it all out and um, take it out. So what I've just done is open the bleed nipple and just going to pump some of the liquid out make sure when I take the clutch pedal out it doesn't leak everywhere which is going to be good. Just make sure I can hear it all coming out now. Pump some of that through. So what I've done is given the uh, the nut that's on the pipe a bit of a tap with a hammer and screwdriver to free it up just because it was a bit seized. And then I've got the 16 and the 13 wrench, one on the back and one on the front. And just by doing that, I've managed to hold the back one in and then free this one out to undo it, to get it out a little bit. There you go. Free from there, lovely. So the next thing to do is undo the bolts here that hold the whole assembly onto the other side of the bulkhead and give it a bit of a clean up while you're there. That's what I need to do. There you go, nice and loose there. Lovely. Now I've loosened it up on the bottom. Should just be able to lift it out, hopefully. Maybe have to move this out of the way. So let's do that. There you go. All looking a bit crusty, unfortunately, but that's why we take it out. I'm going to give it a good old clean up. New spring in there, a bit of degrease, a bit of oil. That's going to help it out a bit. You can see that that's definitely seized up. So. And it's quite stiff at the moment as well. So anything I can do is going to help that out.
just going to give it a light dusting with etch primer. Um, etch is good for raw metal. And I'm going to put a little bit where on the painted areas already. Just going to help that paint stick a bit. And seeing as it's a nice day, hopefully it will dry nice and quickly. So what I'm going to do now is uh, hit it up with some black Rust-Oleum paint just to finish it off and you know, give it the final look. So here we go. So I just had a look underneath where the clutch assembly was and as you can see it's all a little bit crusty. Took the little gasket off that I'm replacing and there's quite a bit of rust under there unfortunately. You know, that's what you have to find all the time when you're doing your Land Rover but just give it, give it a bit of a pressure wash and a degrease and wire brush it and then put some rust inhibitor and paint it and then uh, go from there. So as I was cleaning it all away um, I found these little holes that the pressure washer pushed through not too bad you know I'm used to it so I'm gonna put a bit of chemical metal on there just to fill them in a little bit you can see them a little bit better from this side just a few little pinpricks where the the clutch pedal assembly has been pressing up against there maybe a bit of the fluid's gone on it and it's just been sitting and just eroded away over time so I think a bit of a bit of love there needs needs to come in so I'm just gonna put some tape on the back and put some filler on the front I've been asked a few times before what chemical metal is, just a type of filler. I'm not really sure what makes it so strong, but um, I've used it a lot and it's a really good way of you know, filling things like we're doing now. Sort of not what I'd say is a permanent fix, but you know, you want to get it back on the road and it's not like a safety thing, it's more like a cosmetic slash weathering issue than just fills a few holes. I am. Um, managed to fill some holes on the back where the old bench seats used to go and they were about 50p sized and just put a bit of cardboard underneath filled over the top, sanded and it literally like metal and completely seals it, been like that for a year it works really well um, so all you do, just like normal filler you just get the main ingredient and the hardener and you mix it up This one seems to be even more, a lot more um, liquidy actually. Usually I buy one from plastic padding, but they sent me a different one this time. I think it's Tetrapon, this one. It's not the one I usually use. This one seems a lot more gooey. Um, I like it a little bit more firm than this, but I'm hoping as it starts to set, it will harden up a bit. But we've got that tape behind anyway, so hopefully this will actually get into the cracks a little bit better. So I'm just getting the putty here on the scraper just like normal filler if you've ever done body filler just the same stuff just scraping it over mainly in the holes but over the whole thing as well I'm not recommending this this is what I do what you'd want to do normally is um, weld this obviously cut it out weld it up with a new panel but I've just had a lot of welding done and I think we want to do it on this bit as well, so I'm just going to do this for now. Obviously not the neatest of things, but you get the gist there, hopefully you can see that. And there's the painted filled bit there. Obviously looks it's not great, but it's much better than it was, and protected. Rust removed and coated, so now I'm going to put the clutch back together. And loft power spring here. So next I'm going to put this little gasket on, um, that's going to help out a little bit because this is all rusting away so good to keep that protected. Just line up the holes obviously, place it on. I like the idea of um, putting the gasket on the actual unit because I'll probably be replacing this next rather than the bulkhead so I thought I might as well this stick on here. So right there there's a pivot and that's where the shaft from the master cylinder goes through and rotates around so I'm just going to give it a bit of a good oil in there, coat it, this is just engine oil. 
why not you know protect it get it all moving properly in a perfect world I would probably replace this whole unit but you know if this is not good then I'll we'll get on to doing that I'm sure but replacing is always more expensive and it's good to try and keep things working rather than replacing them so now I'm going to install the master cylinder in through here and using the two bolts just at the reverse of earlier I'm going to mount it up and adjust these nuts um, I've been looking on their website and it looks like it's going to be a little bit of a challenge but I'm going to get through it so I've got the cylinder on now mounted and I've got the bolt on top and bottom of the washers as well the shaft's going down through the pivot there and I've got the nut um, set on the bottom here ready for the top to go on with the washer on this side as well I've looked on the website for the instructions there and they state you put the nylock down the shaft and then with the washer on this side ready to adjust when you get out and about testing it not too tight obviously but just nice and nipped up don't want it shaking loose a bit fiddly in there but not too bad go the pressure of the cylinder now is pushing against the other nut just a little bit it's all in nuts done up there nicely just protruding slightly from the top making sure that nylock is biting and as the website said it's um, a good way of starting out love the way it looks there it's gonna look great in the car a black alley top there pretty cool just need to put this little adapter piece in here just giving it a little clean up, just this piece. Need to tighten that one up in there. Important to keep that. Don't throw the old cylinder away with that in. I think that's a 16. It's nicely done up there. Tiny bit more maybe. All in all, paint job's not the best, but looking a lot better. Got the new power spring on there, the gasket mounted on, and the new Love Master. Look at that, all looking really nice. Just need to put the pedal cover back on and mount it in. Let's go do that. So there we go, it's gone in, put that on back. So I, what I've done is I've done up all the bolts underneath and it's now clamped down nicely. And now it's time to um, thread this pipe back on now. I've uh, put a tiny bit of oil just on the thread to let it ease it back in properly. Um, don't want to contaminate the system obviously, but just just on the thread to give it a bit more movement. And hopefully that will stop it from seizing in the future as well. You want it to be nice and tight, but you don't want it to never come undone again, obviously. That's bad. There you go. It's nice and tight for now. So I've got the bleeding system all hooked up and it's still not uh, filling and bleeding unfortunately so I've had a tip off from someone that absolutely knows what they're doing <laughs> um, to open up this screw on the back here and undo it so that you can get full stroke on the pedal so I didn't actually film the bleeding out bit and adjusting it because it was actually a bit of a strange process I actually had to ring up Luke Luke Fitzsimmons from Lof, that is his name, it is his brand. He really managed to help me out by running me through a few things and actually in the end had to take off the spring altogether because it's made the clutch so light and it springs back so much better that the spring was holding it down to the floor and that seemed like there was no pressure in the clutch but actually it's just so light now that you know it's just so much better <laughs> that you don't need a spring so gonna jump in give it a try and see how it feels so just give you a bit of a test and everything seems great <laughs> really strange the feeling to have it so light in a car like this you know um, no spring at all it's quite amazing really clutch is just absolutely unbelievably light feeling great quite high up at the moment um, might need a bit of adjusting but so much better than it was just having a little bit of a blast in the field in the sunshine such a lovely spot up here. Just want to say it's working great. Great little decision to make. Happy with that. Thanks for watching today. Sorry the end was a bit 
lacking, but you know, we got there in the end and it feels a lot better. I um, hope that we're going to be able to run without that spring for a little while, but um, it's all working for now and it feels great, so let's do it.